Hello and welcome to a CK3 mod showcase again with me Bob Scammon and we are going to look at something a bit different. Normally the mods that I look at are mods that are mainly um, gameplay focused but instead uh, I had a recommendation to look at the CK3 phenotype um, I can't remember the exact wording it will be <laughs> in the title and in the uh, um, and in the description below but it is a mod that changes the uh, the kind of ways that uh, different people look around the globe and gives a bit more definition to their uh, to what they um, different cultures look like and um, different phenotypes so that is actually uh, something that's really uh, interesting I've done a bit of research on the mod itself though I forgot its name because I'm brilliant like that but it has got a quite um, interesting uh, like kind of a re bit of research in anthropology uh, anthropology and uh, and looks at normal human phenotypes in order to try and give more kind of defined and uh, more uh, recognizable and more uh, detailed and more varied uh, phenotypes around the world and hopefully that is something that we're going to see at the moment um, and I don't think the base game gets it too badly wrong um, there isn't like uh, I think there is a fair bit of a difference between the different peoples of the world however there is definitely something that we are going to hopefully see more of in the world and I don't know if we necessarily it necessarily changes the base characters but what it will do is hopefully change the characters that we will be able to find the you know the the ones that just spawn randomly so if we um, if we try and hire someone for uh, for a councillor position we should get just some random lowborns as well so this guy is a random lowborn and he's Irish Gaelic and let's let's uh, go to his barber shop got a few more freckles I can't really see too much difference for him so far but if we try and get him without a beard oh instead of a long curly beard I want no beard you know it seem, seems seems uh, you know nothing too different but we're starting over here in Ireland but I, I've uh, put it on the basic boy one and we're gonna go straight across the globe over into India and hopefully India will have a bit more difference so we're gonna play as this fella here this Raja and we're gonna go again and look for someone else and uh, here we are this my, this is my guest he um, let's, let's have a look let's have a look at some of these guests nothing too different so far I have loaded up the the game maybe I should play it for a little bit maybe I'll get some more people turn up oh look there's boobs and so I'm gonna have to censor that just for YouTube purposes oh my god look at this fella he's got a strong chin how are these guys doing let's try and switch character to over here and see what what's going on here and see what what kind of people we can kind of get showing up and see if they're a bit different well this guy looks a bit odd <laughs> his eyes are absolutely mental uh, I don't think that's a part of <laughs> necessarily a part of it all um, but there is, does seem to be a bit more difference in this ah that guy's okay this is where okay in the Middle East we're seeing a bit more difference and actually I can see a notable difference in the way that people are looking now actually as I go around maybe I was a bit quick to uh, a bit uh, hasty to kind of say but you can see I think the ways that the noses work definitely the way that um, uh, mouths and stuff are, are working means there is probably quite a bit of difference here um, and how we see the world ah oh, look at that guy's schnoz <laughs> this guy looks a bit weird but um, maybe maybe that's all right I like this fella look at him he looks a bit like a, a, a gnome though not a gnome a bit of an orc but yeah I think that actually I, I, I will take back I think some of the um, traits might look a bit exaggerated but I think I think the problem um, kind of some of the problems that a lot of this uh, 
kind of trying to get too close to the human phenotypes that they might have is that there is a slightly artistic there's a slight artistic approach it isn't ck3 hasn't gone for pure realistic looks it's gone for close to that but it's added a bit of um you know added a bit of an art style to it at the same time just because i think if they 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 know they're not going to get it perfect because you know you don't play the you one you don't want to be highly rendering all these people's faces in and two you don't want to nest you know that's not where the main the main part of the game is i think there's kind of like a good middle ground but it does mean then when when these mods try and uh, make things a bit more or realistic or add in different uh different kind of traits they can get exaggerated but i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing and actually it adds a bit more to the uniqueness of the world and actually works maybe with the artistic style a bit more and i can say that actually i might keep this with it because I, I do believe it is iron man compatible i i haven't got a great um uh, I haven't got a lot of experience with a lot of different mods of this style, uh, this type, so I can't tell you whether this is the best one so far. But I kind of like that it seems that the changes are fairly minor um, and still are fitting within the world. As in, like I couldn't see at first necessarily necessarily the big differences because I chose two parts of the world where actually the the people were quite quite uh were quite well done already like the western world is probably where they focused a lot and did a lot of the beginning stuff and then um and then you know india was so so different and so far away it's like the complete opposite they had to be kind of like miles apart but there is in these kind of regions these kind of middle grounds aren't just kind of just a merge of the two they are uh, feel very distinct now um which is the best Though I do feel, as I say, some of them look a bit silly because of uh, the way that the um, the, the way that the world um, works and the way the mod works and the artistic direction. However, I, I think I, I do enjoy that and I will probably play with it at least for a little bit and see how that goes as the game develops. Um, and I might have to do an update if uh, my opinion changes dramatically. However, at the moment... I think that is a fairly comprehensive look at the different way and the different um, art styles and the different uh, genomes and phenotypes and all that kind of ge uh, genealogy that I don't know too much about. I did philosophy at uni, so uh, I, I pretend I know a lot, but I don't know. I don't have a Scooby about this kind of bits and bobs. But I think that it's been actually a really interesting look at and making certain places we, uh, give them a bit more identity. If you have enjoyed this uh, this uh, video or any of the other CK3 mod uh, showcases, then yeah, there's a whole um, list and a, a um, playlist that you can look through, or you can look at uh, go to my other videos, some on CK3 and some other bits and pieces. Um, you can also look at all my articles and other bits online at bobsgammon.co.uk or find me on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash bobsgammon. Thank you for joining me once again, and I hope to see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to a CK3 mod showcase again with me, Bob Scammon, and we are going to look at something a bit different. Normally the mods that I look at are mods that are mainly um, gameplay focused, but instead uh, I had a recommendation to look at the CK3 phenotype um I can't remember the exact wording. It will be in the title and in the uh, um, and in the description below. But it is a mod that changes the uh, the kind of ways that uh, different people look around the globe and gives a bit more definition to their uh, to what they um, different cultures look like and um, different phenotypes. So that is actually uh, something that's really uh, interesting. I've done a bit of research on the mod itself, uh, though I forgot its name because I'm brilliant like that. But it has got a quite um, interesting, a uh, like kind of a uh, bit of research in anthropology, uh, anthropology, and uh, and looks at normal human phenotypes in order to try and give more kind of defined and uh, more uh, recognizable and more uh, detailed and more varied uh, phenotypes around the world and 
hopefully that is something that we're going to see at the moment. Um, and I don't think the base game gets it too badly wrong. Um, there isn't like, uh, I think there is a fair bit of a difference between the different peoples of the world. However, there is definitely something that we are going to hopefully see more of in the world. And I don't know if we necessarily it necessarily changes the base characters, but what it will do is hopefully change the characters that we will be able to find, the you know the the ones that just spawn randomly. So if we um, if we try and hire someone for a, for a councillor position, we should get just some random lowborns as well. So this guy is a random lowborn, and he's Irish Gaelic. And let's let's uh, go to his barber shop. We've got a few more freckles. I can't really see too much difference for him so far. But if we try and get him without a beard, oh, instead of a long curly beard, I want no beard. You know, it seems seems about uh, you know nothing too different. But we're starting over here in Ireland. But I I've uh, put it on the basic boy one. And we're going to go straight across the globe over into India. And hopefully India will have a bit more difference. So we're going to play as this fella here, this Raja. And we're going to go again and look for someone else. And uh, here we are. This, might, this is my guest. He, um, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of these guests. Nothing too different so far. I have loaded up the the game. Maybe I should play it for a little bit. Maybe I'll get some more people turn up. Oh look, there's boobs. And so I'm going to have to censor that. Just for YouTube purposes. Oh my god, look at this fella. He's got a strong chin. How are these guys doing? Let's try and switch character to over here. And see what, what's going on here and see what what kind of people we can kind of get showing up and see if they're a bit different well this guy looks a bit odd <laughs> his eyes are absolutely mental uh, i don't think that's a part of <laughs> necessarily a part of it all um but there is, does seem to be a bit more difference in this ah that guy's okay this is where okay in the middle east we're seeing a bit more difference and actually I can see a notable difference in the way that people are looking now actually as I go around maybe I was a bit quick to uh, a bit uh, hasty to kind of say but you can see I think the ways that the noses work definitely the way that um, uh, mouths and stuff are, are working means there is probably quite a bit of difference here um, and how we see the world ah oh, look at that guy's schnoz this guy looks a bit weird, but um, maybe maybe that's all right. I like this fella. Look at him. He looks a bit like a, a, a gnome, though. Not a gnome, a bit of an orc. But, yeah, I think that actually I, I, I will take back. I think some of the um, traits might look a bit exaggerated, but I think I think the prob um, kind of some of the problems that a lot of this uh, kind of trying to get too close to the human phenotypes that they might have is that there is a slightly artistic, there's a slight artistic approach. It isn't, CK3 hasn't gone for pure realistic looks. It's gone for close to that, but it's added a bit of, um, you know, added a bit of an art style to it at the same time, just because I think if they, they, they know they're not going to get it perfect because, you know, you don't play the, you, one, you don't want to be highly rendering all these people's faces in, and two, you don't want to nest, you know. That's not where the main, the main part of the game is. I think there's kind of like a good middle ground, but it does mean then when when these mods try and uh, make things a bit more realistic or add in different uh, different kind of traits, they can get exaggerated. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And actually, it adds a bit more to the uniqueness of the world. And actually, works maybe with the artistic style a bit more. And I can say that actually I might keep this with it because I, I do believe it is Iron Man compatible. I I haven't got a great um, uh, ex I haven't got a lot of experience with a lot of different mods of this style uh, this type, so I can't tell you whether this is the best one so far. But I kind of like that it seems that the changes are fairly minor, 
um, and still are fitting within the world. As in, like, I couldn't see at first necessarily, necessarily the big differences because I chose two parts of the world where actually the the people were quite quite uh, were quite well done already. Like the Western world is probably where they focused a lot and did a lot of the beginning stuff, and then. Um, and then you know India was so so different and so far away. It's like the complete opposite. They had to be kind of like miles apart. But there is in these kind of regions, these kind of middle grounds aren't just kind of just a merge of the two. They are feel very distinct now, um, which is the best. Though I do feel, as I say, some of them look a bit silly because of uh, the way that the um, that, the way that the world. Um, works and way the mod works and the artistic direction however i i think i i do enjoy that and i will probably play with it at least for a little bit and see how that goes as the game develops um and i might have to do an update if uh, my v opinion changes dramatically however at the moment i think that is a fairly comprehensive look at the different way and the different um art styles and the different uh, genomes and phenotypes and all that kind of Ge uh, genealogy that I don't know too much about. I did philosophy at uni, so uh, I, I pretend I know a lot, but I don't know. I don't have a Scooby about this kind of bits and bobs. But I think that it's been actually a really interesting look at and making certain places we, uh, give them a bit more identity. If you have enjoyed this uh, this uh, video or any of the other CK3 mod uh, showcases, then yeah, there's a whole um, list and a. a um, playlist that you can look through or you can look at uh, go to my other videos some on ck3 and some other bits and pieces um, you can also look at all my articles and other bits online at bobsgammon.co.uk or find me on twitch uh, twitch.tv forward slash bobsgammon thank you for joining me once again and i hope to see you on the next one